Please, good morning to all. I am Ms. Mahalashree, AP of PCE. So today we are going to discuss about electrocardiography. So we all know about that ECG means electrocardiography. So the main definition of ECG is it can be used to show the electrical activity of heart muscles function. So here we are discuss about electrocardiogram. Electrocardiogram and electrocardiogram. So the electrocardiogram is the measuring instruments. So that instrument can be used to measure the electrical activity of heart muscles. So we have an electrocardiogram. During this process, the particular waveform is generated. So that type of waveform is called as electrocardiogram. Right? So then the main agenda of this topic is definition, origin of heart, types of faults and types of layers. So already I told the definition of ECG. So it can be used to show the electrical activity of heart muscles. At the same time, we have to identify the different cardiac disorders. So next one, origin of heart. So before any intervention, we have to know about the various parts of heart. So normally the heart can be classified into four types of channels. Right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle and left ventricle. Then types of valves. So we have to discuss about different types of valves in ECG. So first one is right atrium. Now I will explain only one type. 
type of leaf system. So the two type of leaf systems are standard leaf system and unipolar leaf system. The standard leaf systems are also called as bipolar leaf system. So the other name of standard leaf system. So now we will discuss only about the standard leaf system process. So it can be classified into three types: leaf one, leaf two, and leaf three. For the leaf one, for the leaf one process, it measures the electrode potential. It measures the electrode potential across the two electrodes. For the during the ECG process, the different type of electrodes are placed in given different positions. For example, right arm, left arm, right leg, and left leg. So normally, right leg is a reference point, but it always connected to the prone position. For the lead point system, the two electrodes are connected between right arm to left arm. So here, the electrode potential is measured between the across these two type of electrodes. Those electrodes are connected in right arm to left arm. Here the electron potential is measured. The voltage range is 0.53 millivolt. For the leaf two system, the electron potentials are measured between left leg to right arm. Here the voltage level is 0.31 millivolt. For the leaf three system. Electrode potentials are measured across the left leg to left arm. Here the voltage level is 0.78 millivolt. Okay. So then I will explain the different types of ECG waveforms. So we are now about the normal ECG waveform. So this one is a normal ECG waveform. We have in there different type of interval levels P, Q, R, S. So normally, the prolonged time of Tu it indicates the the prolonged time of Tu indicates the first degree of AB block. It indicates AB block. So next one, the QRS complex for the this type of waveforms indicates. Q or S complex position. So next one, prolonged time of S T interval. It indicates major coordinate infarction. It indicates major coordinate infarction. So we all normally know about for the this type of waveform indicates the patients are bleed to death, and the straight line ECG waveform indicates patients are dead. 